Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and today I'm gonna show you something really, really crazy. Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is a game, it's like a triple-A game, right? Uh, the graphics are really, really good. Um, it's like a PS5 game because it's the, it's the integrated version, so it came from the PS5. I'm here running my Fedora Linux 38, really strong. Uh, kernel version 6.3.12 uh, I have a Ryzen 7 5700G 5, and a um, C, uh, AMD RX 6750XT uh, so I'm also rocking like 32 uh, RAM uh, so let me just show you how well this game is running I'm here running the Mango Hood overlay also, I enabled uh, game mode, and that's about it. I didn't put anything else in the command line. Uh, I'm sorry, in the start options. So I'm running here the game in 1440p, high because it's the most uh, high, high. It's the highest you can get. Also, 90 FPS because my monitor is like 75 hertz, but you only have the option for 60 and 90, so I just put 90 here. And yeah, that's about it, bro. Like. Um, let me just show you how well this is running. Like, seriously. This game is so beautiful. What the hell? I am literally running this on at, at like 1440p, the highest graphics. This is like literally PS5 level graphics. This is literally the graphics of the PS5. And I'm here. Okay, now for some odd reason, the frame time just went hazy there, but it came back. Like, literally, so such a stable frame time, bro. Uh, I actually recorded this beforehand, but the recording didn't have audio, so I'm having to record this again. But just to show you here that, like, seriously, it's so stable. Just take a look at the frame graph. It, it, it does not oscillate. It literally oscillates less than on, it was oscillating on Windows. And the graphics are so freaking beautiful, I'm, I'm running this like, like fixed 90 FPS, it just doesn't drop at all. I don't understand how it runs this well, bro. And Give like... Me a break. See ya. Just get this guys here, show you like all the effects, Was everything. Never in doubt. Was never in doubt. So everything is here, like all the effects, all everything, and, and, and it just runs perfectly. What the hell? On Fedora 30. Uh, I'm also running this on X11. I tried Wayland too. Uh, I didn't notice like a big difference in Wayland versus X11. Uh, I just noticed that like, like when I turned the camera around, if I take a really, really close look at my monitor, I can notice like really small uh, tearing artifacts on X11. But like it's it's literally so small that I have to like put my eyes on the monitor and keep shaking the camera so I can see it. But other than that, I haven't noticed any difference. Uh, I think maybe the input lag may be a little less on X11 because of how it works and yada yada. But on Wayland, I didn't notice any tearing. Um, how do you say artifacts? But at the same time, I don't know. On X11, I have many more options for recording the screen, like GPU screen recorder, which I'm using right now. Really good, by the way. And as you can see, like my GPU usage is hovering around uh, 80% and 70%. I don't know it, why it's higher right now, maybe because of the scenery. But when I was recording beforehand, uh, like the, the last recording, it was at 70%. And just take a look at my CPU usage. It's like 20% bro that's like almost nothing what the hell like I could actually just encode this uh, this uh, this this recording on my CPU because it's almost idling right now <laughs> so it's really good yeah let's fight these guys and then we can end the video but just to show you that Need a hand oh, thanks yeah thank you so he entered my group as a uh, invited member he will fight by my side but it's not a playable character. He's going not going to show in the main menu because it's not possible to change his equipment and other equipment. Right. Okay, let's just fight these guys here. Uh, no holding back. 
I hope you can guys can hear me in the recording. Fuck. Enough. Yeah, it's fine. You okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. okay. Where are the others? Nowhere close. Let's go. Yeah, guys, just take a look at the frame times, bro. It's so good. And if you can recall correctly, uh, I used to have an NVIDIA card before, but now I'm rocking an AMD because there are many advantages, like you can use uh, hardware decoding on Firefox. You can... it's just more straight to the point when you put the card in, it just works and you have like everything you need already. Uh, it's using the Ready V driver and it's just running so well here, bro. Like. This is literally, like, I could even put it at 4K, but I don't wanna, because it's probably going to throw my GPU to 90% usage. Also, I think it's kinda higher here, I mean, the GPU usage, because I'm recording this, but, like, when I was playing, just playing it, it was literally never going up uh, 80%, it was just, like, um, 73%, 72%. But also this usage, uh, like consider that I'm, that I'm also recording the screen. The, the usage is so good and the performance and everything. I'm so freaking impressed, bro. So okay, this icon. Okay, 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 okay. So let if me we just flip that end switch. The, we can oh get my to God. the other side. Let me end the video, bro. <laughs> I may be able to do that. Okay. So this was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm planning on recording more uh, videos of gaming on Linux because it's so fun to play around with it. And thank you for your patience for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye bye.